All right, everybody, welcome back. It is a Saturday afternoon edition of Geeks Unleashed. As you can tell, Frank, also known as Steak Rodriguez, is here, joined by the great AJ Anthony Henriquez and Mr. Uh, Michael Murray, the Squatch himself. Um, we decided to join in different than usual Skype conversation. You could see our faces for once rather than hear our beautiful, lovely uh, sex voices over the internet devices that you use to listen to us. Um, we pulled this last minute thing together. Well, it really wasn't last minute. We kind of, uh, it was premeditated in, in this steel trap. <laughs> um, we want to talk about the Sony press conference. As you all know, I'm a Sony fanboy. Um, as are, you know, most of my friends and colleagues in Geeks Unleashed. Um, not, uh, well, not you, you know, you're a PC fanboy. Always tried and true. See, look, oh, life's a glitch, bro. <laughs> As you say that, I am on my PC. Yeah, shooting people in the toe. But here's the thing. Let me go. Let me let me go back a couple months. Obviously, we all knew this was coming. We all knew that the next gen systems were going to be announced. We knew that it was only a matter of time where my PlayStation Three was going to become another dust collecting device, gone the way of the Wii. Um, you know, but. I had made a statement a while back, and I said, you know what, I'm not buying any next-gen systems, because I got back into being a PC gamer. Um, I, you know, let's face facts, anything that its current-gen system can do, the PC is going to always do better. The thing is, I watched the Sony press conference, very skeptical. I wanted to see what they had to offer. I wanted to see what kind of footage they were going to release. I wanted to see what what is the system going to do? Because, let's face it, if all they were doing was upping the graphics powers, I don't give a fuck. My PC blows away the PlayStation 3 now. And when the PlayStation 4 comes out, instead of buying a new five $600 system, I could buy a new five $600 graphics card and blow out what the PlayStation 4 would do. So I was like, you know what? I, I was thinking old school, all the systems are going to do is give more graphical power as they go along. And um, that's definitely not what Sony showed me. Um, let's go right into the specs of the system. Um, now, for those of you that don't know exactly what this means, I don't really know what this means. So I'm going to try to pass it off to Murray. So right now, it looks like we have a six-core processor, mm -hmm. AMD, which is codenamed Jaguar. Uh, Actually, they're saying it's, a, it's an eight-core. The I Jaguar thought it was is eight cores. I'm dumb. Yeah, that's so eight. Um, I'm stupid as hell. Well, it's just because you're playing Call of Duty, it dumbed you down. I know. You can't, you know, we can't blame you for that. <clears throat> well, the fact that it's not using a proprietary processor, it's using something more standard, more readily available. Uh, it should give a lot of developers more processing power just because of the fact that now they don't have to worry about, like, only developing with the PlayStation hardware. I mean, they could take their PC releases and port them directly to PS4 now since it's using the same architecture as any other processor that someone would own. Mm -hmm. And that's always something good. What's good, obviously, is the um, the optical drive is still going to run DVDs for those in the Stone Age, like me, who still haven't upgraded all your movies to DVD. I mean, to Blu-ray, excuse me. So we can still watch our movies. It's not going to be PS3 backwards compatible. So guess what? All your PS3 discs you have, Either get rid of them or don't throw or don't get rid of your PS3. Um, yeah, because the only way that you're gonna be able to play them, I hear, is from streaming, which is where Gaikai comes in. Yeah, yeah. which which will be That's you a know stupid idea. I like the idea. Again, I'm I'm all about digital content. I'm all about streaming. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, it depends on the person. Like I said, I have a whole I have a whole stack of PS3, PS2, GameCube. I have tons and tons of cases and games that are just collecting dust and taking up more room than they should in my apartment. So, <laughs> I 
prefer to go digital. And you know what the funny thing is? I, I'm actually going to switch gears real fast. I had this conversation with Murray earlier today. Everyone's making a big stink about digital. Guess what? If you're a PC gamer, you've been digital for a really long time. I don't yeah. know anyone that goes to a store and buys a hard, a physical copy of a PC game. Steam, we've been using Steam for ages for other download clients, and we just buy a game, and it's on our PC. Done deal. I pay credit card access. Boom. I, I love that feature. The only thing I have was the one, the, excuse me, the two World of Warcraft collector editions I bought, and the discs aren't what count. It was the, the art books and the fucking maps and the mouse pads and all the garbage you got with it. Uh, so you know, to me, digital obviously is the way to go. And and I think once people get used to that, they're gonna forget that they ever owned a disc. <clears throat> now, if the if it's done correctly, which I'm sure it will be. You have access. You'll have an account where you can go back. Let's say I delete a game, but I want to go download it in two years because I want to have that nostalgia feeling. I'm sure I could go back into my account and re-download it because it's the same thing with Steam. You, it's in it's in your Steam profile. So when I want to, if I switch over to, if I buy a new PC, rather than copying my files, I just log into Steam and I reinstall that game that I bought X amount of years ago. Um, so it's... For me, I like the digital way rather than, than the hard disk, you know, the, the optical disks. You know, it's just, I don't have the room to store all my games anymore. And I'm going to have to put them on the black market, which is, you know, taboo to Sony and Microsoft and all the gaming companies. Because, you know, let's face it, if they want, if, if someone's going to sell their game, it should be them and not me. You know? Yeah. But, um, back to the specs. So it has Blu ray drive, DVD drive, um, what exactly explain to people murray the memory gddr5 8 gigs what is that what what does that give playstation 4 owners who don't know what these specs mean over what they would have in their playstation 3 on well, the ddr5 is not a standard that many have for memory because mm -hmm. uh it actually is something that is used on video cards because it's a lot faster to access so to have that much just set for the memory of the the system, aside from the video card, having about two gigs of memory, I mean, that's going to be a lot faster than some people think. Because the standard right now is uh, DDR3, which I'm sure if you built a computer or looked for one on uh, <clears throat> online, like Dell, it's always going to give you like a DDR3 option nowadays. The higher the number, the better, of course. <laughs> it's like a standard rule for life. Yeah. Unless it's latency. <laughs> that is bad. So that that's that those are the main specs to really get all like giddy over on the on the processing power and the system itself. I mean, the next step up is the control of the PS4, which the the DualShock three will not be compatible with the PlayStation Four. So you will be forced to buy this new and probably really expensive controller. Um the DualShock 4 looks like the standard DualShock 3, except it has a touch pad in the center of the controller. Uh, it has your move dildo built into the controller, which they're calling a light bar. It ripped off of the, the Xbox 360 controller with the headphone jack at the bottom of the controller, which we have to give it up to Microsoft. It's a, it's a good idea. I like having my, my microphone that close to me. Um, the light bar syncs with the camera built into the PS4. It kind of gives a, a depth tracking system similar to the Wii, but obviously probably better. Um, you know, and it has, let's not forget, the share button, which is probably the most exciting feature. Yeah. The share button allows you to share your either screenshots or video footage from the game live to various websites, Facebook, Ustream. No mention of YouTube yet. There was no mention of YouTube. Very possibly, maybe it's a contractual thing. Maybe the Xbox will be doing that. Maybe they'll have, uh, you know, or maybe they just didn't uh, come to terms with payments or contracts that YouTube is going to be, you know, a partner with Sony. Um, I think they said you'll be able to upload videos. I'm not sure about stream, but but they didn't say to they didn't say to YouTube. They just said on the network, the PlayStation network, you could share with your friends. And the only logos they showed were Facebook and Ustream. 
Mm-hmm. So that that was one of those things you got to kind of read between the lines about. Um, either did, way, it's awesome. And they did know, say that there were other networks, but they didn't name them. And if they make it anything like uh, PC users have, whether mm-hmm. you can access any server to stream, then that could mean that you have many possibilities. You as know, long as they allow you to ins- in- enter like a an address that you want to stream to mm-hmm. an RFTP. What is pretty amazing that I'm I I want to get into the social interaction and the social specs of the system. And this this is what really sold me on on the PS4. Because uh, once I saw this, I was like, this is completely awesome. I like the idea of your friends. You know, I of course I love like you know. When when you when you meet someone online for the first time, you don't want them knowing your full real name. But yeah. once you friend them, it would be nice to actually know who you're speaking to, um, rather than you know, do me forever twenty five or you know, <laughs> loves to teabag, or you know like, I've always liked people to know my name. Hence my gamer tag has always been Frank is great. That's why I use it. My name yeah. is Frank. I want people That's to know why. that. I like to use my own name as well. Yeah. It's just something so easy to remember if you do get to know people. You know, and then what it happens, when I'm playing a game, they go, hey, Frank, is right. They go, hey, Frank. Because you're always going to sh- cut someone's, this, such as AJ uses Speaker for the Dead. They go, hey, Speaker. Yeah. You're not going to say the full thing. And yours is Murray Licious. They're going to go, hey, Murray. You know, they, there's your name. Um, I like that once you friend someone, it's almost like Facebook. Hey, this is me. This is my real face. This is my profile. And... I love the idea of going to my friends list. Not only they finally did cross game chat, which is genius. I that's the best thing that Microsoft Live, you know, Xbox Live has to offer. Cross game chat. I could talk to you doing anything, and everyone knows that because everyone's played uh, Xbox Live, so I don't have to explain that feature to you. Um, I'm glad they finally incorporated cross game chat, but they brought it a step further. Not only can I speak to you, I can actually see what you're doing in real time. Where, what are you playing? What are you watching? What point are you at? And then if you're streaming, you can not only stream footage of your game, but from the, the screen capture that they showed, you can have a Skype-type video of you actually playing the game in the corner of your game. So I'm watching you and your game, which is and pretty cool. ironically, this all showed up right after Call of Duty decided to show their technology, their streaming technology. That's it. You know, I mean, it's... it's it's really cool. But here's, they took it a step further. Let's say I'm, I don't feel like playing any games. I want to see what you're doing. I'm going to go on, right? As if AJ would ever need help in a game. Let's make believe he does, right? Let's say he's playing Street Fighter, which he sucks in, so I can actually help him. I'm watching him play. He's getting his ass kicked by Teabag26, right? Because he didn't friend him yet, so he sees his gamer tag. And I'm like, yo, this guy isn't that good, AJ. You got this. And he's like, ah, I can't beat him. He keeps cheesing me with low kicks, which is my weakness. Uh, Dive kick. I'm in a, I can literally take control of his game and help him beat this guy. That's, that's really cool. I think that's a really cool feature. We have to see it actually played out because it's a great concept. Yeah. And they didn't show that because I'm sure they're working on that type of that type of you know technology i mean that it sounds complex i don't know how you would even do that like a remote like almost like a team viewer i'm going to remotely take control of your game using my controller that's some that's some matrix type shit right there it's kind of mind-blowing to me um the only thing that's going to suck let's say you're into uh playing competitively who says that you're not going to take advantage of that and decide to play a game and have someone play for I'm you. Sure that it'll, I'm sure they have a way of showing who's remotely playing for who. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure that it, that they, it has to be there. It'll probably say, you know, I might even log in with my account. It might say Frank is great, is now playing for, you know, I, it would only make sense to me. Yeah. Um, one of the other things that, that's great that I love is that they said once this is obviously i don't think when the gates open and the system is released all these features are going to be implemented and functional this is what they're going to work towards but using gaikai at some point the playstation network all the games available that you can buy digitally download 
there's no demos. The trials will be there to instantly <clears throat> jump into the game and start playing before you buy. So you can test drive all of the games before you buy them. Love the idea. Because... That's pretty cool. You know, I have bought games or, you know, I bought Anarchy Reigns. Yes, it was only a $30 title <laughs> from Platinum Games. But, you know, I had buyer's remorse after about a day of playing the game because... I remember watching you. That was... It's frustrating as shit. The, the, char the characters are great. The abilities are over the top the way I would expect it. Um, you know really cheesy voice acting just what I would expect from Platinum everything that I would like in a game but it is so frustrating so if I could have tried it and played the multiplayer modes um, I would have not I, would, I wouldn't have bought the game because I would have said this game is great in concept but it's not for me it's for someone who's into games that make you want to pound your head into a wall <laughs> some people like it, obviously they do because I had the game, and three days later, there were people who were already max level. I only made it to, like, level three after playing for, like, I don't know, fucking six hours. And there were people who were level 50 already. So that shows me that they, they just lived, like, the game. It's all they did. Which is cool. You know, that's what you want to do? Great. That's a game for you. You would, Those people would have bought the game regardless. They would have yeah. played it and been like, oh, this game's awesome. I'm buying it. I would have played it and been like, cool idea. I'm saving my 30 bucks for something else. <laughs> you know? <laughs> If only you knew. If only I knew. But that's one of the things that the social interaction, the Gaikai network, it, that's really what sold me more than processing power. Anything that the game, like the system could do, again, we could do on our PCs. Um, <clears throat> yeah. But off of the social interaction, because I could go on about it all day, love the concept, can't wait to see it in, 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 in action. I'm going to be one of those assholes waiting online around holiday season to get the, the system at release. We all know it. Um, and when that happens, we will have a live video footage of of the the system and all of us uh, playing with our new toy at my place. Um, <laughs> let's move on right. to some of the games that they talked about. Was anything to you shocking? Honestly, we haven't seen enough, so I can't even say. You know, I would say, you know what? I expected, as soon as I saw the guy uh, from Sucker Punch come out, I knew it was going to be Infamous. And that footage of Infamous, that little cutscene, um, I love Infamous. Infamous 1 was good, Infamous 2 was excellent, great. One of my favorite PlayStation 3 games ever was Infamous 2. Loved it. This Infamous didn't really stir any emotion, any excitement. It kind of looked like a, it looked like a release title, if you get what I'm saying. You know how like when a system comes out and the release titles, a lot of times are kind of like, meh. It has like its own, yeah, it has its own feel. Like it, it's brand new for that yes. architecture. Yeah. Now, what I would have, they, they didn't say anything about it, but to me, the worst. All right, they they showed the footage of the game, and the, he was building it up, building it up, and he said, "Imagine you wake up in a world and." This many people have superpowers. What would you do with them? I was hoping they would go the route of of like a typical MMO multiplayer, yeah. build your own superhero, something the way of DC Universe. I, if I'm gonna wake up, if you're gonna tell me I'm gonna wake up with superpowers, I don't want you to tell me what my powers. Are. I wanna <laughs> I wanna wake up with the powers I want. Give me a template to build. Do I want fire? Do I want ice? Do I want electric? Do I want wind? You know, whatever my superpowers are going to be. Or do I just want to be hulkish? Give me the option to pick my power. Don't tell me all of a sudden I'm some British asshole with fire chains. I, you know, like, <laughs> that, that didn't do it for me. So they, like, they gave me the hope that it was going to be this. I had choice in my game. And then they pinholed me into this is what your character is. You woke up, you know. So I don't have, I didn't wake up with what I wanted. I just woke up with a random power that you foresaw I had. You woke um, up with someone else's memories, basically. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's not original. So, you know, even give me the truth. Do I want to be British? Maybe I want to wake up with a fucking hmm. Japanese accent. Maybe I want acid powers and a samurai sword. You don't know what I want. Give me what I want. <laughs> you know? Um, which would actually make a pretty bitch in character. I just thought of it. Uh, you know, so that didn't wow me. And I, I saw it coming. Um, Killzone 4, let's face it, 
also saw it coming, but I am really excited about <coughs> it. It looks very polished. Wouldn't expect less from this from the uh, Gorilla Games or the studio that makes Killzone. Um, I'm really excited. And if it comes out release day one, that's the game I'm going to buy. Because Killzone 3, I loved it. Loved the multiplayer. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough friends to play with. Uh, so it, it didn't... The, the, the game didn't I have that much forever. longevity. I was looking for people to play. <laughs> oh, that's right. You were playing it. We did the Monday night streams. Yep. For a little while, for a couple and of And everyone weeks. just disappeared from it. That's what happens, man. It sucks. I know. I continued playing it. Jinx was playing it, too, at one point, And then he got so frustrated that he broke his controller. And then <laughs> it took him, like, three months to replace his controller. By the time he got it back, uh, you know, no one was playing anymore. Um, but, yeah, Killzone. Sounds like something I'd do. Killzone was one of those ones. I saw it coming, but I'm still really excited about it. And it's a definite purchase in my book. Now... What did you think about Knack? That, I... I'm not really going to be too interested. <laughs> yeah, I haven't me either. I mean, it looked like a tech demo more than anything. Yeah, yeah. I feel the same way. Like, that's why I hate when they don't actually have uh, IPs to show gameplay. Mm -hmm. It's like... What the hell? <laughs> like, you just sit there, you're like, okay, so they're showing off how they do renders and then the worst part was where i think it was was it square enix that replayed their video from last year oh, for the ps4 like, release the launch or the showing of it i was like i, I have deja vu right now i could have sworn i saw this before <laughs> and of course it was the same thing from e3 last year all over again yeah yeah i'll tell you what did surprise me blizzard coming out and saying, we're here and we're going to show you something. When they came out, I honestly thought that they were going to say, we are giving you a World of Warcraft or some type of MMO. Because, as I was speaking with Murray all earlier as well, Sony's really the, PlayStation 3 is really the only home console system with MMOs available for it. They have DC Universe. They have Free Realms, and they have Final Fantasy uh, 14, which got pulled for now to make Realm Reborn. Um, but they have three MMOs that are pretty decent. So if Blizzard would have joined up with Sony and said, you know, we're going to make a console MMO, I would have seen, especially since World of Warcraft is so many generations old already, it probably could have been really easily translated over. Um, but instead they released Diablo 3. Well, they announced Diablo 3. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, that was depressing. Yeah, we have our own, you know, quirks about that. We'll talk about that in another episode. Um, I was really thinking, like, maybe they were going to show their new IP. Yeah. And that I was cool. really hoping that that's what they would do, because that's what would set the PS4 apart completely. Like, to announce, like, a new IP on the PS4. Yeah, that would have been great. Rather than, here's a game here is a game that is already looks a few generations old, right? Yeah, it's a year and a half. Year. It's no, it's a year old now. Yeah. Yeah, it's a this, year old. It's coming up. It's a year old, but it doesn't look like a new game. No. Nah. It looks. And like it wasn't. It looked like it wasn't finished the way that if you played it. I mean, yeah, yeah, you'd understand. <laughs> I play. I still. I logged in two days ago. I'm not gonna lie. I played. But does it feel game. like? An experience that always rewards you, or Never. is it I that one it time you beat it and then it's like, now what? <laughs> I played it for three hours the other night after I haven't touched the game in months. The new patch came out, PvP came out, yada yada yada. I'm not going to get into it. I played the game for three hours and I found myself grinding to get buffs to try to get gear, which my character is outdated. I haven't played in months. And I all the gear that was dropping was still not as good as the shitty gear I have. So, like, I played for three hours and got nothing. No upgrades. The only upgrades I got, Jinx gave me because he plays the game religiously still. So, like, he just came in into my map and he was like, here you go, plop, plop, plop. He dropped a bunch of monk shit and left. And I was like, sweet, I got new gear. Let me go kill things now. But if it wasn't for all his hours of hard work, I would have played and not had any reward. But, you know what, the people who don't have PCs that are strictly console gamers, I'm going to recommend to get Diablo. It's still a fun game. 
definitely worth the playthrough. It's Diablo. But they didn't do enough for Die Hard Diablo fans. Someone who doesn't really understand or doesn't know who likes Dungeon Runners and didn't get into Diablo on an, on PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 because it's being released for both, which is also a cop-out because, you let's face yeah. it, you're going to release it on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, but you're not, you're not going to optimize. You're not going to optimize. Yeah. You know, like, if I'm going to have a PlayStation 4, I want to see shit that's optimized. I don't want a, a carbon copy of what I can do on my PlayStation 3. You know, it's those are the things that, 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 that kind of upset me. It was still a cool announcement. I wish it would have been more. You know, give me something crazy. You know, give, like, I don't know. Even if they would have made a Warcraft, a uh, new Warcraft title that was like, they wouldn't put that kind of time in, though. Let's face it. I was going to say, like, something kind of like Dragon Age. Make me chew, like, the captain of an orc squad. I don't know. And <laughs> fucking running into into Asmodee, or like, you know, whatever. I don't know. Demons and shit and killing hack and slash. Give me, a, a like, a, 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 a an adult title with blood and gore. Not the graphics of Warcraft. Depart. Give me something a little more photorealistic. You know what I'm saying? Give me something Lord of the Rings-esque. Because, let's face it, Blizzard's cutscenes are amazing. Their stories are great. You gotta love... Blizzard releases quality stuff, except Diablo 3. Everything else they've done, <laughs> even StarCraft. The story to StarCraft is awesome. The cutscenes are amazing. I played through the, the, the campaign to watch the story unfold. Blizzard, they know how to do their their rendering and their <laughs> their, <laughs> their CG. That's amazing. That's why even the Diablo 3 trailer, the yeah. video that they released. Even the cutscenes throughout the game. They were awesome. You know? And then you go back in game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, exactly that's my thing so you know if they would have put some of that some of the budget they put for their cutscenes into the actual you know game engines they would have some really fucking amazing looking games um but all for blizzard back onto the games that are that that were announced um destiny from bungie you know that was a very cool announcement we already knew it was coming out multi-platform but they announced um exclusive content for the PS4. Really cool. That will also, if that comes out for release, I'm I'm so into Destiny right now. I think it looks great. It reminds me of Mass Effect with the character classes, the abilities, and... Um, it seems like the MMO style, It's I feel a little bit like the Shadowrun with the classes, if you ever played that. I don't remember playing that. Uh, that was on uh, 360 and PC. No, there was an original for the PC, originally for the PC, and then they remade it, and it didn't really pick up. But it was a first-person shooter with different classes, and it was only online. Oh, really? Yeah, that and a, that I a lot of it was like you had these big bulking, bulking guys with just power, sheer power. You had other people that were like that would gust you off of like cliffs and things like that. It was pretty cool, but... I, but I guess it didn't catch on, on, right? Of course, as, as most ambitious titles, they don't catch on, unfortunately. Um, yeah, no, I mean, they, they showed the Hunter. The, the hunt, Well, they didn't show what the character classes can do. They just announced... Hey, I have that vacuum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they announced that there's a Warlock class, a Hunter class, and something else, a Titan or some shit like that, which is probably going to be heavy weapons, heavy armor. The Hunter will obviously be the sniper type class, I'm assuming. And the Warlock, what really intrigued me was he had a gun in one hand and like one hand out and he had like magic shit <laughs> around his hand. So you know it's going to be a run and gun caster type, which is, I mean, I always pick the Warlock class. They usually disappoint me because they don't deliver what I like, but I, I'm still into that, that idea of like the run and gun mage is pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, I mean, Destiny sounds conceptually amazing, and it's something I look forward to seeing. What are they going to do for, you know, uh, exclusive content? Um, I'm sure, since Bungie has worked with Microsoft so closely, that I don't think that, that Sony is only going to get the exclusive content. As I told you before, AJ, I'm sure they're going to do... Ex this is your exclusive content if you own the PlayStation, and this is your exclusive content if you own the Microsoft... Which will probably be like, I don't know, maybe skins and guns or maybe yeah. a few quests. It's not going to be game-changing. It's not going to be like, oh my god, I have to get it for both systems because 
this is so different from this. But, you know, that's that was really all they, they announced in terms of games. Um, nothing else that, that sticks out to mind. Um, what I have to say is, again, I came away from the press conference super excited. Um, I'm already starting to slowly put funds to the side to <laughs> purchase the system. Um, I wonder how Microsoft came away from watching this. You know everyone from Microsoft had their eyes glued to the screen and they were watching. Yeah. They, they were eating it in, saying this is how it is, this is what's going to, you know, what are, we, what are they going to do different? Uh, they probably made their bullet point saying, all right, this is what Sony announced. We have to announce and try to make it sound bigger and better. Um, Mary, I was just saying, what do you think Microsoft is go- t- took away from this uh, press conference? And what do you think they can do to persuade people that the 720 will be, oh, my God, infinitely better? Because that, that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to sell them. They're going to have to whore themselves out and say, this is why you need the 720 and not the PS4. Well, the fact that they took it so well, the announcement out of nowhere, was one thing. I mean, people are going to sit there and say, oh, well, at least they didn't sit there and start firing back like crazy. They made one Nobody comment. Nobody said anything. The, 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 I believe it was the vice president. He made one comment. He said, no, that was uh, the vice president of Sony said that someone at Microsoft. So it's like he said, she said. <laughs> it was him who said, no, no. I, it was someone at Sony that said that they heard from someone at Microsoft that they were stunned. No, no. And it's like, yeah, I could say the, the same thing. I, I could no. say that Frank looks stunned right now, no. but that doesn't mean you are. No, no, there was a comment <laughs> released that they were that Microsoft said, how could you announce a system oh, without was, showing um, the actual that system? That was Major Nelson, I think. Could be. I forgot. I'm not... Yeah, I think it was on his website. Yeah, and that's... <laughs> that was pretty funny because, to be honest... <laughs> If you don't show a console, well, how are you announce? Well, you like I, you could announce the PS4, but that doesn't mean you're showing it. You know you're I, showing the technology behind it, which you didn't have to put together something so large for. Well, you know what I think it is, and I told AJ this earlier when we were on the phone. I think that they didn't. Pro- I'm sure they didn't come to a final decision on what the system should look like, um, and I think that this time they just wanted to make the preemptive strike. They wanted to make the first move because last generation, not only did they make the move second, they made it way later. So it was like, let's face it, when, the, when the when something is released and the gaming community already spent several hundred dollars on a system, they're not going to go out five, six, seven months later and spend and drop that money again. So you yeah. have to be, if you win, the, if you get the first strike, you're probably going to win. Well. There's the first strike, and then there's the first launch. Yeah. So yeah. while PS4 may have shown the technology, they could actually have the 360. Yeah. The new version of the Xbox already, and that'll just be like a kick in the nuts. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah. that looks great, but here, we're going to give everyone that's attending this press conference a system, like they did at E3, I think, two years ago, when they announced the redesigned Xbox 360. Mm-hmm. At the Microsoft conference, at the end, they gave everybody in the in the crowd a version of it. They just shipped it to them. Wow. That's pretty awesome. So, like, they announced it, and it was done. They're, like, they're almost like Apple, where, like, when they announce something, that's because they already have it. Well, you know, they back up the, the Brinks truck. Yeah, they say, oh, you don't believe us? Well, it's sitting right here, and... It's going to be in the store by the time you leave this room. <laughs> so you can't even argue with them. I think that, personally, I mean, they haven't said anything about the, the, really the next Xbox. I mean, there were some leaks on, on the power, which both systems, like, uh, hardware-wise, are almost identical. Um, but I have a feeling that, that the system's going to be running on Windows 8. It would only make sense, and they should really integrate. No, it would be another version of Linux, probably, that they're you think so? facing. Yeah, because hmm. to be honest, Windows 8, like, they could have the UI from it, but ideally it's not going to be good for everything. Yeah, I mean, Windows 8, you see what issues PC people have with it. <laughs> I mean, if they do, I'll be surprised, actually. It's like, it's great for a consumer on a PC, but when it comes to, like, gaming, the support isn't all there, or anything, the support isn't all there. 
That's Unless they dumb it down a lot. That's true, because, hmm. you know, let's face facts. I mean, Windows Phone, and I'm still waiting for apps. I mean, it's just the app market sucks for it. It's, the interface is great. The phone is awesome, but it's it, it, like uh, Apple and Android are so already so advanced. Like, they've been out for so long that companies don't want to invest the money on something that might make it or might not because it's the new product so you always see get our our app at the apple store or the droid store you never hear anything about get our app at the windows store <laughs> it doesn't really exist right now um, but yeah, you know but... that's what i took away from it i'm super excited what about you aj someone who's still sold on the <laughs> ps3 Will you become a PS4 buyer? Or are you going to wait it out? Are you going to see what Microsoft has to offer? What is your, your, your feelings on the system? I'm probably going to wait it out for at least a year. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, about the most I want to do is sharing. And with a computer and a PS3 so close, I could just buy a card and do that. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the idea of having that in a sit- all-in-one system is great. Um, other than that, don't really care too much about the social stuff because that's what I have a face, <laughs> you know, say, computer with like, Facebook I'm for. not that social, fuck all you people. <laughs> yeah, and then when I want to smash someone, I have my system. That's what I use it for. I get online, I blow shit up, I shoot people in the face, that's it. What about you, Marcos? You know. I'm probably going to hold off, just like I have with every system. I mean, Will you, I'm yeah, sure someone's going to have it, I'm going to... See how it is. This guy. <laughs> I mean, I'll play it, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna want to jump on it. Yeah. Especially if it's gonna be, if they're gonna still be behind releasing the same titles on the 360 and the PS3 before. That's. I mean, that's, that's, that's the big move. issue. If you don't have anything unique that's only on PS4, then you could wait it out until it's available. Because I'm sure there's gonna be a rush of people. And then they're going to have limited supplies, and people are going to be going crazy, and then it's going to inflate the price. You better reserve, like, three of them and sell two, just so you could, like, recoup on your losses when you get stuck in the hospital because you get trampled by crazy <laughs> PS and PlayStation fans. <laughs> because I'm, I'm scared. I mean, I, I might... I'm going to try... I'm going to see if supply and demand is, like... You know, like it was the first time around. I'm gonna probably wait till spring, cause when when I had first got my PlayStation Three, I had I was like contemplating. I didn't want to get it. I wanted to get it. I didn't want to get it. And then it was like you couldn't get it. You couldn't get it. And then I actually waited uh, till almost April. So it got released around the holidays, and I waited till April, and it was readily available everywhere. It was only like four months later. And the funny thing was, when I bought it, it was around my birthday, and really the only game to buy was Resistance Fall of Man. Which, at the time, was yeah. like, holy shit, look at this game. But, it was like, there was nothing available for it, so... I was still on Call of Duty 2. Yeah. When I got my, uh... That was like, a year after the 360 came out, and I had just gotten into playing on the 360, with like, Gears of War and everything. Yeah. In Call of Duty 2. Mm-hmm. But, um... You know, I think this cast has gone on pretty long. I said it was going to be a short one. It seems to be a long one. So let's let's cut <laughs> it out. If you have if you have feedback, let us know what you think about it. Uh, let us know what you think about the system, the, your hopes, your aspects. What do you think? How do you think Microsoft's going to cancel? Join the conversation over at geeksunleashed.net or even better yet, go to our Facebook page, uh, facebook.com backslash geeksunleashed. Please like the page, you know, join us in the conversation. Anything you want, you know, is there. And our comedic value and expertise is always available. So backslash camp, and we will catch you all next time. Peace, guys.